Let's talk about why cigarette smoking is such a risk to people and what are the current recommendations of smoking. So what does smoking do as far as cancer? Well, smoking is by far the, most, the, the largest risk factor for uh, developing a lung cancer. Uh, and if people have smoked for more than about 25 to 30 years, then you're at risk. And in and, and, and a lot of our population, people start smoking young. So when, when people are in their mid-30s, they're at substantially increased risk for developing lung cancer. And that increases with the amount they smoke and with the number of years they're still smoking. So we go, what is the pack year smoking history mean? A pack year means uh, that, that if you've been smoking one pack a day, uh, for a year, that's a pack year. So if you smoke two packs a day for a year, you have a, a two pack year history. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's basically calculated in that fashion. But I don't inhale. Of course, no, everybody inhales. <laughs> <laughs> so how about if you're in a house where somebody else is smoking, does that put you at risk also? That puts you at, a, at an increased risk, not nearly the risk of being an active smoker, but there's the, the passive envi environmental tobacco smoke exposure is, is a, a documented risk for lung cancer. Are you seeing more and more problems with lung cancer in older people who have been smoking with a 25 plus pack year history? Yeah, that, that you definitely see more, more disease the longer people smoke. And when you see that, so that, that's made our screening recommendations uh, different in the last two or three years. What, what are the current recommendations on screening for lung cancer? The current recommendations are to look at people who are at risk, which is uh, defined as being 30 pack years of smoking, uh, and who are in an appropriate age group between the age 55 and 75 to 80. And if, those, if you have those two things, then it's recommended that you have a low dose, which means a low, uh, low radiation type of CT scan uh, once a year to screen so for cancer. Is it a high definition CT or just a CT of the chest? It, it's a CT of the chest and it's done with uh, a lower energy or low radiation exposure. And to so the what, what we're trying to do is find out, uh, find a little small speculated uh, nodule that's there that you can't even see maybe on a chest x-ray. That's X -ray. right because uh, you can see these things w sometimes well before you can see them on x-ray because so the CT scan looks at the lung in, in, in sequences of, of, of slices whereas the chest x-ray takes the entire chest and nodules can be hidden behind structures like the heart and you don't, you don't see them clearly. Have you seen people with it, the high def or that the CT of the chest picked up a cancer that wasn't there. It's a very common thing, actually. So it's common. Those. So that screening is very, very important. Because if you find a solitary nodule early and you take it out, what does that mean to the patient? Well, it's, it's a really good thing. If you find something early and you can resect it, then most of the time that patient's cured from their cancer. Now, an important point about that is if, if you find this in someone and they continue to smoke, then they're highly likely to get another cancer and they may not be able to be resected once they have had more than one resection. They lose their lung function. So a key part of screening people is encouraging people not to smoke. Uh, and that's, that's actually way more cost effective than doing scans, having people try to, to quit smoking. If you tell them you got a cancer, you got to stop the smoking, that, that pretty much is a call to uh, uh, call to stop that smoking. Is it, oh, it's a absolutely. very difficult thing to do. It's, it's extremely difficult uh, addiction to, to, to stop. And, and people who have really good intentions will, will have a lot of trouble sometimes. But the key is to, to be persistent and uh, try and try again. Most people who want to quit smoking do. Over a million people a year quit smoking. Over a million people will stop smoking. It's so, so important. We see cigarette smoking causing cancer in other places and damaging blood vessels. It's just a, a terrible thing. We could never bring cigarettes to the market now. It never passed the FDA, in my opinion. There's that. Sure shouldn't. So, so screening, chest x-ray, we can cure if we find it real early in some people. If they stop smoking, you and, take and, off that and, lesion. And most people, yeah.